All right, here we're going to start looking at solving separable differential equations. And the way that I always reminded myself of this procedure is we just separate and we integrate. So by separate, um, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to put all the y's on one side of the equal sign and all the x's on the other side of the equal sign. So that's the idea of sort of separating them. I'm going to separate the variables uh, from each other. And uh, we want the dy to be in the numerator, and we want the dx to be in the numerator as well. So uh, part A, we've got dy over dx equals x over y squared. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the dx over to the right side. So we can multiply both sides by dx. Basically, I'm cross-multiplying is what I'm doing. Maybe that's an easier way to think about it. So x times dx, that's what we're getting on the uh, right side. We'll get... Uh, dy times y squared, or y squared dy. So now we've separated, and the next thing I'm going to do is to integrate. Okay, so if we start with two things that are equal, we can integrate both sides. Well, the antiderivative of y squared will be y cubed over 3. We can certainly put the plus c um, wherever we want to. Uh, the antiderivative of the right side will be x squared over 2. I'm just going to stick the plus C on the right side. You don't have to put constants on both sides. Um, if you wanted to as well now, um, we can even solve for Y in this case. So we can multiply both sides by 3. So 3 times X squared over 2 plus C. So 3 halves X squared plus 3C. Again, that's going to be Y cubed. And now to get the y by itself, we could simply take the cube root of both sides. So if we have y cubed equals 3 over 2x squared plus 3c. Um, I'm just going to take the cube root of both sides. So on the left side, we'll be left with y. On the right side, we've got our cube root. So we'll have the cube root of 3 over 2x squared plus 3c, and that would definitely uh, be a solution. Now, sometimes you won't see like this 3c, and I think this is something that can be a little misleading. Um, sometimes what you'll see instead, uh, I, I, equally valid, okay, also valid would be to say, you know, suppose instead of lab labeling this as a, you know, c, suppose I call it just little c sub 1. C sub 1, C sub 1, C sub 1, C sub 1. So, okay, it's just some ger generic constant. I could say, okay, let's let C equal 3 times C sub 1. So I'm just re replacing this generic constant. 3 times C sub 1 with just the value C. And this would also be equally valid. Okay, we could say either one of these are going to be solutions to the original, um, the original differential equation. So sometimes you'll see it written either way, so don't be thrown off by that. This is basically all that's happening. Probably sometimes I'll leave it alone and sometimes I'll change it. But again, um, it's correct to say either one.